A new era is beginning at Ducati. The new Panigale V4 has arrived. More power, less weight, new aerodynamics, and most notably, no more single-sided swing arm. All the information in this video. You might almost think Ducati watched our tune-up video of our Panigale and wanted to one-up us, but that's probably not the case. No, it's the World Ducati Week in Italy right now, and they're presenting the new Panigale V4. Of course, we have a team on site. No Pain and our social media guy Marcel are there to gather impressions for you, but I can already present to you the first details of the new Panigale V4. Let's start with the most obvious, the design and aerodynamics. The Panigale has been completely redesigned. We have a newly designed front. Uh, Ducati says they were inspired by the 916. Yes, you can see that to some extent. But obviously the most apparent change is the aerodynamics. It's not just about feeling like the winglets are slapped onto a finished motorcycle. No, they have integrated it into the new fairing, providing the same downforce, but looking much more elegant. The front has also been moved further forward. Ducati says this will make the bike more agile in corners at high speeds. Whether that's true or not, we'll have to find out in a test, but I'd already like to know what you think about the new look. I believe it's a matter of taste because the old Panigale seemed more aggressive to me in appearance. This one is a bit more elegant. Please share your opinion in the comments. The new fairing also comes with optimized ergonomics. The tank seat element is more generously designed, meaning you can hide behind the fairing more easily. The tank now also has a recess for the helmet, allowing you to lie down on the tank to achieve more aerodynamics. This means the new Panigale offers more space and better movement. Of course, the aerodynamics were also improved to provide more track performance. Speaking of performance, let's briefly touch on the engine. As there's not much to mention, it has been slightly revised. We now have 216 HP at 13,500 RPM and 120.6 MSM at 11,000 RPM, a slight power increase. And Ducati is proud that they achieved this power increase, even though the bike is homologated with Euro 5 Plus. It means you can ride it on the streets and have even more power. And if you want to ride it on the track, you can opt for plenty of accessories from Ducati. There's the Akrapovic Complete System, which boosts the power to 228 HP. So in terms of power, I had no doubt the Panigale would stand out. No, for 2025 it will be even better. But now let's get to the point that will likely cause the most controversy, the double-sided swing arm. Yes, it's over. Ducati has left the single-sided swing arm in the past. For 2025, there will be a double-sided swing arm for a straightforward reason, performance. Ducati is competing with the Panigale in the Superbike Championship and new slick tires are coming out. To make the most of these, Ducati course wanted new stiffness values, leading to the introduction of the double-sided swing arm. The values, I can read them out briefly. The lateral stiffness is 37% lower than with the single-sided swing arm. The weight has also been reduced by 2.7 kilograms. They also made changes to the main frame, making it less stiff and lighter but these changes were made to improve performance on the track. Ducati is always very performance oriented. This year, a Bavarian manufacturer is doing very well in the superbike, and I think Ducati wants to catch up. The reasons are simple, it's better for racing. Aesthetically, it looks technical. It really seems like Ducati put some thought into this swing arm, but it's not as visually appealing as a single-sided swing arm. Ducati calls it the Ducati Hollow Symmetrical Swing Arm. It's a nice name, but yes, please write your thoughts in the comments. Those who like looking at Ducatis might suffer a bit, but those who ride on the track will appreciate it. Speaking of track performance, the new Panigale V4 is also the first bike equipped with the new Brembo calipers called High Pure TM. These new calipers are not only lighter, but they also offer better performance and dissipate heat better. This ensures consistent braking performance throughout the entire session, leading to faster lap times. There's also a new Race ECBS system, a new ABS system developed with Bosch. I don't want to go into too much detail, it's quite complex. If you want to know more, click on 1000 PS on the website and read the report. But what I do want to explain is the new electronic system. 
Ducati has developed the new Vehicle Observer, a new IMU system that works with 70 sensors to constantly monitor the vehicle and measure the ground. This system is supposed to work almost preventively, detecting the surface you're riding on and activating the necessary control systems. You can, of course, adjust everything wildly, but we also have a very comprehensive electronics package with slide control, wheelie control, power launch, engine brake control, quick shifter, and so on. Ducati has further developed all of this with the new Vehicle Observer, DVO for short, to better adapt the Panigale's performance. They had to make these changes due to the new chassis geometry. They couldn't just carry over the old model. Also new is the 6.9 inch TFT display in an 8.3 format. It looks a bit like an oversized smartphone in my opinion, but it looks nice. We have various modes again, a street mode and especially a track mode. I find it amusing because it includes a lap timer that works with GPS data and you can mark your individual sectors. You ride over the track during the first practice run, mark sector one, sector two, and sector three, and in the next run, it measures the sector times. Ducati says you'll see on the display whether the sector was faster, slower, or the same. It's color-coded like we see on TV during Superbike or MotoGP races. So you have even more electronic gadgets to track your times accurately. Shall we draw a quick conclusion on the new Ducati Panigale V4? As I said at the beginning, a new era. Everything is new, new design, new ergonomics, new chassis, new double-sided swing arm, slightly revised engine, and updated electronics. Not a single stone has been left unturned. The Ducati Panigale V4 shows itself completely new, available from September. Unfortunately, I can't give a price at this moment. I'm recording this video for you in advance, so you have it in time. If we already know the price, you'll find it online on a 1000 PS. So that's it for the new Ducati Panigale V4. Everything is new, not a single stone left unturned. I'm curious about your thoughts. Write your opinions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because as soon as possible, we'll test it. One of our faster new colleagues will take over. So stay tuned and stay loyal to us. Thumbs up. See you in the next video. Bye.